So until you take a seed and then plant it in a fertilized foundation, fertilized soil, which is your mindset, which is your environment, right? Only then you can um, have then have the opportunity to then make the choice keyword and make a decision to water that seed. Who's this? Oh, you're an entrepreneur? Oh, you're a real estate investor. Oh, you're trying to learn from those who did it. Well, come into the lab then. Put your white coat on, gloves on, notepad, and let's build y'all. Midterm Rental Wealth Retreat Recap. Experiment Nation, these past, it's been about a week and some change now. Uh, I wanted to get into the studio since we were last all in person, hands on deck in Destin, Florida, with my partner, Dr. Rachel Gainsbrew, and the amazing action takers and investors that came in to educate and be in proximity to others within their respective field to learn from others who are a couple steps ahead of way, which I had the pleasure of um opening up our uh, retreat with my mindset talk about uh, how to unlock unlock your 10x potential starting with the mind and then being able to co-host the event with my partner dr rachel gainsborough we have an amazing group of experts that came and and spoke um that uh, that were truly uh, truly so shout out to our amazing uh speakers uh, boy, I mean, we had, uh, so of course we had, uh, Ryan Bakey, Annette Forbes, uh, obviously Dr. Rachel Gaines, we ran the show and John Bianchi, uh, was there as well, uh, virtually, um, we had, um, you know, oh my gosh, we had Amy, um, we had Jen Sexton from Toast GPO, uh, I mean, just, amazing uh amazing group and so we we kind of covered all areas right i opened up with the mindset which i think is a critical component because reason why i start with the mindset is before you can receive new information your paradigm shift a paradigm must change right in order to be able to have new beliefs new information uh new uh, breakthroughs, it starts with the mind, it starts with being able to shift because when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So in order for you to make that shift, you need to have the ability to be able to make uh, make the shift, of course. Um, and for me, the biggest key takeaway that I said is it's all about, you know, we come across a lot of content, right? A lot of information. We have information overload. Uh, so what that happens is I look at content as seeds, right? But what happens, you need to have a rooted foundation, a well-soiled foundation, right? And that means well-fertilized to be able to then take those seeds and then plant them. But planting is just half the job, right? What actually needs to happen is you need to water that seed so then it can turn into a plant. And maybe that plant turns into a tree. And then maybe that tree turns into a forest. And when you have a forest, it gives oxygen. And when you can, are able to give oxygen in an ecosystem, you inherently... Um, make the place a better place and enhance the community and give oxygen to a community and therefore have a larger impact. So that's my whole thing with us and seeds. So until you take a seed and then plant it in a fertilized foundation, fertilized soil, which is your mindset, which is your environment, right? Only then you can um, have, then have the opportunity to then make the choice keyword and make a decision to water that seed and i think the problem is sometimes we, we have a lot of seeds and a a lot of seeds come across and a we're we don't have fertilized soil so we're not ready to plant them and then when we do plant them sometimes the plant goes dry or sometimes the seed never even turns into um fruition for lack of better words your plant doesn't even come to fruition your labor work doesn't even you don't even get to benefit from that because you just haven't taken the time to commit to water the plant and watering the plant for me is a decision to commit, right? Does this work? Does mid-term rental insurance work? Absolutely it does, right? Does short-term rentals work? Absolutely it does if you put it to work, 
If you're willing to do the work, it works. Everything works. If you stick with it, if you decide, that is where the decision needs to be made. When you make a decision, right? If you're into this, there's an entire chapter dedicated on this in this book, Think and Grow Rich. It's not work hard and grow rich. It's think and grow rich. It's make the decision to move forward and grow rich. Decision. One of the big things that my coach is helping me rewire right now, my mindset coach, is that making a decision. What is it that you want? A lot of us sometimes focus on the how instead of focusing on the what have we decided because then that that will follow, right? Whether you know it or not, um, you know, it's not by chance. It's not serendipity. It's by law, right? So you will attract the things uh, and, and bring it into your life based on the frequency level that you're vibrating on. And the law of vibration is a primary law. Law of attraction is a secondary, right? So that's important. And once you get through that personal development, then you can receive more of the mechanical, right? Once you get into the spirit of it, then you can, can you know, get into the mechanical of like, what is the strategy I'm going to use? Who are the people I'm going to meet? And that's why you come to these conferences, right? Or these uh, these retreats. We like these retreats because they're more intimate. And so there's a few things that stuck out because I could go uh, on for days and I wanted to be able to extract the most value. So number one is is action takers. Action takers are money makers, right? A uh, huge shout out to Jerica. Had information, received information during a session, asked a question, came to me, asked me a question about how she should uh, approach a homeowner uh, that gave her basically the green light to essentially arbitrage or landlord um, gave her some of my insight remember just planted a seed she watered that plant she went ahead and took action the next day she said they confirmed that they're willing to work with corporate and so i'm going to fly out of there by next by literally at the end of this retreat because of that green light now if you think about that for a second how quickly how can you compress the time that it takes to get to your goal by taking massive action right away right Life is hard to begin with, right? So why not just take action while you're doing it to, to to then increase the amount of results that you can get in a short amount of time? Because then that gives you the momentum. So imagine if she takes that kind of action for the next 30 days, what does her life look like? But most importantly, what does your life look like, right? So it's all about taking action, right? So action takers are money makers, and we know that. Compress the time, solve a big problem, take action, uh, and make sure you're taking action with the information from someone that you trust, because if you don't believe in it, then you're not going to have that spirit that things will will manifest and come true, right? And it's not just manifest and sit down, but you have to believe in the process that you're working on. You have to believe that this works, right? You can't have a scarcity mindset. You can't have this idea that, oh, I'm going to do this strategy, but I don't really know if it works and I'm going to try it. You're not trying it. Either commit or you don't do it, right? It's either a truth or it's a lie. There's no in between, right? So doing it or don't, not doing it, but there's no gray area. It's a commitment. It's a decision. Once you go all in, that's how people get results, right? So that's number one. Experiment Nation, you've heard the word MTR, midterm rentals, as it is currently a hot topic and hot commodity right now because, again, there has been an increase in short-term rental regulations and there also has been, let's face it, a slowdown in what we were experiencing a couple years back when it comes to bookings. So with that said, short-term rental operators are looking for alternative solutions to tap into the midterm rental space. However, there is a space, there is a sub niche of midterm rental insurance that I'm truly excited about that I wanna share with you that the experience that we've had, the tremendous results we've been able to have, and that's the insurance midterm rental space, which is very different than your traditional midterm rentals. Or when you think of traditionally midterm rentals, you think of travel nurses. There is a space, midterm rental insurance space that we've tapped in where you need to be well connected with insurance and relocation specialists and companies and understand the right type of asset required for you to be able to help these families. What's really important that stands out the most, which you can get in what I'm about to offer you is the understanding where to be found by these insurance companies, how to properly manage your calendar so that your listings are optimized so that they can find you, how to actually gain traction and build a relationship with these relocation insurance companies. I've put together an MTR insurance blueprint. That's double M T triple R insurance blueprint to cover these foundations after we've had success landing 
very large contracts on single family homes that literally 4x what we traditionally make in long-term rentals and also gives us peace of mind because there's less turnover and a hundred percent occupancy because these contracts can start anywhere from 30 days to three months to eight months and range anywhere from again we've landed anywhere from eight thousand to nine thousand dollars a month in per month on a single family home property which our mortgages are typically around a 2400 range which then gives you a large spread of anywhere from four to six k net on just one property and this is why it's very hot right now but people who haven't been in the lab with individuals like myself like jesse vasquez and dr rachel gainsborough and noble crawford don't have the foundations and don't know exactly where to start and therefore this is why i'm giving you guys a blueprint the mtrr insurance blueprint go to the, the website experimentrealestate.com and get yourself a blueprint to completely change or at least have a plan B if you're a short-term rental operator looking to maximize your occupancy and profitability. We'll see you on the other side. So now more tactically, there's a few things. So action, action takers are money makers. We talked about uh, uh, a few things. One of the things that came to mind is I was not utilizing Instacart the way people are. I had no idea. Instacart is a new team member of mine officially starting today. Instacart, you name it, you can have something delivered within an hour, within two hours, anything under the sun. Um, it's like an extra helper. It's like, you know, Amazon has maybe a one or two day shipping. Instacart can deliver now. So instead of you hiring like a runner or whatever, you might say, oh, you don't have a microwave. No problem. Let's Instacart it. You or the microwave's broken. No problem. We'll get a fix on your whale. But here's another one like here. You need a toaster or you need a tea kettle, right? Anything you name it can be Instacarted. And in my head, I think I always thought of Instacart like as a food delivery service. But no. So if you're currently out of state, if you're currently uh, out-of-state investor, in-state, doesn't matter where you are. One of the key takeaways that I told somebody too is like the benefits of being a, a long-term, long-distance investor is that it forces you to build systems into place because you can't just pop up. And if you're listening to this, you know who you are because I was kind of mocking and, and saying, hey, popping up, huh? You want to just pop up to one of your properties, right? How convenient. It forces you to remove that option so that you're building systems and processes and Instacart is one that you can now bake into your system. So that was one of the key takeaways too. Uh, there's, um, I love the 15% rule and 50% rule. So those two 15 and 50, uh, so that's one five and five zero. Um, that's how you look to acquire. So when you look to acquire a short-term rental, you want to say, hey, will this make annually 15% or more of what I paid for this, right? So if you have a property worth, um, let's say that you're buying for 500, 500, uh, call it 540,000, right? Um, if it makes 107K a year, that's 107 divided by 540, that's 19%. That's above the 15% rule, that's a deal, right? I just did another one, right? We bought a property for 275 in the beginning, right? Well, it's making even if it say it made fifty thousand a year, and you divided that by two seventy five, right? That's an eighteen percent. That's a great, right? So that's how you do your numbers, right? That's a really good rule. Now the fifty percent rule, the fifty percent. So that was the fifteen percent, by the way, the fifteen percent of the rent based on the pur purchase price, right? You can do it annually. Uh, fifty percent is is the market fifty percent occupied or more? If it's anything less than that, it's probably a hard no. Because remember, even in the midterm rental space, we are optimizing for a short term rental exit strategy or even a hybrid. That is right. The whole concept of the two door strategy is you don't need a hundred doors. You need you could have two midterm rental insurance deals. Uh, give you that financial freedom. You could have one short term rental luxury deal and a midterm rental deal. You just run the numbers, right? With respect to your strategy, you don't need 100 doors. You could do it too, right? And so the entire thing is you want to make sure that the occupancy market that you're in by looking at air DNA, et cetera, 50% um, occupancy rate for at least that market. Obviously, your benchmark, you want to be about at 65, right? Because if you're 100% occupied, it probably means you're charging too low. If you're 90%, probably the same thing, right? You want to be at a place where there's a sweet spot. You actually might make more by being 65% occupied than you make at 80%, right? With respect to the price that you're charging, right? So those are really good metrics, right? 
another one that I like was the four R for the rental investing checklist. So that's when you're thinking about getting a, an investment property. It, there's four R's, right? There's the regulatory landscape, there's the return metrics, and then the re regional factors, and then there's the resources and labor, right? So what is that? That's um, regulatory landscape. I'll pull that up here so I can make eye contact here. My two monitors, if you're watching me, I like to make eye contact with the camera. So um, I want to pull this up here. So the four R's, right? So let's talk about the regulatory landscape for a second, right? That's this, you know, what's the local law looking like, right? Uh, what are the regulations? Like we want to know that regulatory landscape. Are regulations in flight? Am I going to be banned to do short, short term rentals? Am I allowed? That's important. Return metrics. Um, List the key differences in ADR, right? Average daily rate, return on investment, the 15% rule we just did, right? That's very, very, uh, um, very critical. 50% rule as well. Like, what is that? The 15 and 50. Regional factors, are they seasonal, trends, saturation? Uh, we want to look in markets that have at least 120 plus listings, right? Anything under that is like, remember, it's not that it's a hard no. It's just we want to increase our chances, right? So, Increasing my chances for me is, am I increasing my chances by being in a market that's not highly saturated or am I increasing my chances? I want to increase my chances because I want to capture all avatars. Insurance, maybe if, when insurance is not as popping, they can get people relocating for work. Is it maybe close to hospitals, travel nurses? Like I want a lot of different strategies, exit strategies, right? Like that's that's critical, right? So, so that's critical. Another one is um, who could potentially help manage your property and what it might cost. Uh, so that's regional and resources and labor, right? Are there people in an area uh, that you're looking to do? Is it completely rural? Well, there's no cleaners. If there's no cleaners or handyman, it's going to be very hard, right? So that's also based on some insights of the, you know, marketplace are completely rural, right? I don't want that, right? A little bit close to urban, right? I want traffic. I want to flow where the currency is flowing, right? I want current. That's what currency stands for. So I want traffic, okay? So that's one of the big ones. Profit maps, my goodness. I don't know if this is out to everybody, but we geeked out on profit maps um, by looking at basically aggregating the, the top zip codes in your in your city, in your area. So profit maps was, uh, you know, shout out to... I'm pretty sure that uh, John, uh, that's John Bianchi's uh, uh, kind of secret sauce data guy, put it together. Amazing. I really geeked out on that. Okay. So those were some big key takeaways as far as uh, the retreat. I think proximity is everything. Masterminding is everything. Um, I'll give you one last one. There was a top five missed opportunities via Airbnb. Uh, and that's uh, guest reviews. People don't optimize for guest reviews and public responses. It allows you to reposition yourself and talk more about your brand. Uh, photos. Uh, this was a big one for me. Um, we don't have this dining table sets, right, for guest count. A, like if you're going to have 10 guests, you have a table of 10 or table of 8, or at least you can get come close to it. And then do your pictures showcase that, the table being set, uh, setting the dining table set. Uh, show, don't just tell people, show them the experience they're going to have. And then host profile optimization for what you do, uh, what it is that you do, who it is that you serve. For us, it's insurance companies, but so as well as families. So have those keywords, right? Uh, fully optimized listings, right? Like leveraging ChatGPT, uh, having full, you know, catering to the algorithm of having a lot of copy. Uh, it sounds a little contradictive, but you can have short, punchy, uh, copy and then you can also fill out the about your property to the maximum amount possible and all the amenities right you really want to include that um you know pre-marketing your property um it's it's critical uh we as soon as we get on a contract we get properties all in the database like in the insurance databases um we make ourselves available right away right so these these were just the gems. I want to keep this nice and short and punchy, but I encourage you to come in person to these things because they can really change your life. Who you meet, uh, it gives you the inspiration to see people doing what you're doing and sharing the the results and the receipts. Um, I get a kick out of it. 
um it's uh, it's an amazing time we have tons of uh wow the pool was amazing the, the retreats the homes that we picked well i know the venue might change but the chef we ate well the, we have chefs that, that come in and cook and we just have a good time and we just share a lot of information insight um there's uh you know host gpo was great um you know it was just it was a good, great to get you know understand what's available to us resources wise uh they continue to peel back the onions when it comes to how they can best serve us um and so yeah it's fascinating to be in a space of continuous growth and where people are willing to share the information and it's i think in your best interest to be surrounded um by by others who are are committing themselves to helping other uh, hosts helping other investors and that's the beautiful thing about being in this space so with that said the next one's going to be in april cannot wait for that uh that's going to be april 2024 if you're listening to this we have them periodically in addition to having uh this periodically i'm periodically hosting every single month the mentor mental um uh Opt marketing and optimization boot camp is to help you accelerate and, and fast track the way you can land these midterm rental insurance contracts by optimizing your current listing. I truly believe that you're, if you're an Airbnb host and you have not um, tapped into the midterm rental insurance space. It's one probably because you're not optimized. So you don't get the opportunities. You don't get the inquiries. And we go over that in a two day accelerator boot camp. We'll cover a lot of how you can turn on this optimization so you can start getting deals today right like um increase your chances for sure so if you're listening to this there's always going to be a link in my bio for you to join the next one uh until you know maybe one day we'll we'll fall off and not do them but um but we've been doing it and people are getting, get, are getting a kick out of it and i know that's how you can continue to get value so please if you're listening to this uh, make sure that you register they are paid uh, i do um uh, offer a scholarship for those who attend my free webinars not all so i will award it to one person so if you're uh, not on my email list uh, make sure you get on it by grabbing the midterm mental insurance blueprint uh, which is you can find in the link in the details below because then i'll announce when i have my free webinars where i give a lot of insights there and then i always award one scholarship winner to one lucky person who attends the webinar if not though if you want to secure a spot it is capped so make sure that you sign up um, one, once a month, uh, and we do a two day virtual, uh, boot camp, uh, for, for two hours each, and you get to keep the recordings and the content and the strategy, which is important for you to accelerate your midterm rental insurance booking process. All right. So with that said, if you're interested, make sure you go to experiment realestate.com forward slash MTR boot camp. Uh, and, with that said, make sure if you're listening to this, you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Plenty more coming your way of content to help you increase your, help you 3x your rental revenue, increase your profitability and occupancy while helping displace families nationwide. We'll see you next time, Experiment Nation. Experiment Nation, podcasting has changed the way we operate as real estate investors ourselves, and it can do the same for you. Podcasting has been the source of the masterclasses that we get thanks to the world-class real estate investors and practitioners and specialists that come into the lab from all realms, from short-term rentals to mid-term rentals to real estate syndications to even software as a service, owners, founders, entrepreneurs, have helped enrich our experiments by giving us the education, helping us build a network, and lastly, and most importantly, a brand association to open up multiple doors for our respective businesses. If you understand the power that podcasting can have, and you know that you need one for your brand, please, you can rely on our team. InvestedTalent.com is my team and the team that helps this podcast, The Real Estate Experiment, become the fruition each and every single week to educate my community, build relationships on the air, and continue to build our brand. If you know that you need to do the same for your brand and you haven't pulled the trigger yet, maybe because you don't know how, 
our company, investedtalent.com, does the end to end from the time that you record to the time that it is published to even repurposing content on multiple social media platforms. That's what my team can do for you. Simply go to investedtalent.com and book a discovery call to see how my team can help you launch your podcast.